Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Berry Views today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, welcome to Craig's Beer Reviews today. I do appreciate you spending a little time with this old man checking out the beer. Uh, we're going to do uh, Greenpoint Beer and Ale Company. This is their Solid State, which is an Imperial or Double IPA. Uh, this is an 8 percenter, guys. We don't have the IBUs. And once again, when I went over to Beer Advocate, they got a ton of beers listed from this beer company. But this one was not on the list either, just like yesterday's beer. I don't know what's up with that. Other than saying they're probably new releases from the uh, from the brewery, and nobody has commented on beer advocacy. It seems like more and more people are going away from posting on that site. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, new releases doesn't seem to be showing up uh, over there. So uh, uh, maybe it's going by the wayside. I don't know. Like I said, couldn't find yesterday's beer or today's beer listed there. So, evidently, the only reason I can come up with that is less people are posting or it's either a brand new release. This was sent to me by Pamela. Uh, she is with City Swiggers. And that is a uh, beer store up there. Beer store and tasting room up in New York, New York. And uh, everybody knows everything's a little pricier up there in the big city. This one still has a sticker on it. It was six ninety nine, seven dollars for this one can. So uh, a little on the pricey side for my taste here, uh, but everything's more expensive in the big city. So probably not too bad if you live there. So with this being said, uh, it does have a date on the bottom of the can. This one has eleven fourteen. So they can yesterday's beer and this beer the same day there. So. Uh, Evidently, they're capable of at least canning two different beers on the same day. So, today is the 24th, so it's 10 days old in the can. Uh, commercial description on Untapped says, Brewed with pearl, raw wheat, and flaked oats. Hopped with mosaic, motica, motuka, and man, mandarina barbaria. Uh, not heard of the mandarina barbaria. That's probably some kind of European hop. I'm just guessing there being Barbaria. Uh, dry hopped with Motuka and Mosaic and Falconer's Flight. Definitely heard of all three of those. Mosaic is a very awesome beer uh, hop, guys. Uh, I have used it in some of the brewery beers I've brewed. So uh, that is all we need to talk about. We don't have the IBUs. So uh, let's find out what this one has got going on. All right, big 16 ounce can, and like I said yesterday, uh, their labels look very identical, other than having a different name written underneath the uh, the green point uh, label here. Uh, the cans look identical, guys. Same color, everything. So uh, they can do whatever they want to as far as their advertising and the skins on their can. If it was up to me, I would do something different for each beer, something a little more or different color whatever but that's just me into the can into the can into the glass it's out of the can we're going to put it in the glass that's right let me pour this kind of aggressive here guys see if we can produce a little bit of head here very cloudy coming out put it up there where you can see the label about a half a finger of head this one is just a little bit more in the orange juice it's not bright orange juice color but it looks like a watered down looking orange juice. Not like the grapefruit looking beer that we had yesterday. But it definitely looks like an unfiltered beer. Uh, I would categorize it as a New England style looking beer. But it's not that bright orange color. 
So let's get it to the nodes and see what we got. Awesome, guys. Very good, guys. Nice citrusy notes. Hints of oranges. Pineapple. Grapefruit. Maybe a little bit of. Uh, Getting a little bit of maybe some peaches. The mango. Smells very nice. Very good smelling beer. Yeah, very nice. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Pamela, and everybody up at City Swiggers. Does have a nice bite on the back end of it. I would think the IBUs, they don't tell us, but I would think the IBUs are in the 70 plus range. Very nice, very nicely done. Alcohol is fairly well hidden for an 8 percenter. Has a little bit more sweetness to the beer than yesterday's beer, beer being a brute, which is intended to be extremely dry this one is not this is more in my cup of tea guys i like a i like a beer with the especially this style in an ipa or a double ipa that has a nice balance between the sweetness and the bitterness i, I, I don't want to drink something super tart or super super sweet i like that nice balance between both of them and this one seems to have it uh, it does have the, the nice bitterness on the back of it, but it does have a nice sweetness to go with that bitterness. So, yeah, I like this one. This one is just a little bit more my cup of tea. And like I said, the, the Brute IPA is something new, just like these were three four years ago. The Brute IPA has been out a year or so, maybe even three. I don't know exactly how long they've been producing it. But both the New England style and the Brute IPA style, two fairly new styles uh, as opposed to a lager that's been, been brewed for <laughs> 500 years or more. <laughs> so uh, this is, seems to be fairly tasty. And I poured the back end in there and uh, didn't seem to change the color or appearance of it any. So let me sip on this one. It's right out of the fridge and we'll come back and see where it ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little up here. Been sitting on about 30 minutes. My slicing is left on the glass here. This is more my style than yesterday's brewed IPA is or was. Uh, a lot of nice uh, aromas and flavors to go with this particular one. Uh, to me, it did fit in the New England style. Uh, unfiltered. A lot of aromas and flavors to go with it. Uh, very citrusy, uh, pine, grapefruit, pineapple, oranges, maybe hints of mango, maybe a little bit of peaches in there. Very nice. Very well done. I would probably buy this particular one if it was available here. Canned on dates on the bottom of it. ABV is on the side of the canned. Uh, very tasty, very refreshing. Uh, very nice beer, guys. Uh, I did enjoy this. Uh, so, Pamela, I do appreciate you sending this to me. Uh, this is more my cup of tea than the uh, the Brute IPA was. Uh, I, I like a lot of a lot of flavors and aromas that this beer has that the Brute IPA didn't. And uh, it's an up and coming style, I, I'm sure. But I, I like my I like my beers in the IPA and the double IPA range to have more than one dimensional taste. Uh, I want to taste more than just grapefruit. Uh, I want to taste the oranges and the grapefruit and the pineapple and the oranges and all the rest of the stuff that goes with uh, using multiple varieties of hops instead of having just one taste. So I enjoyed this one, don't you? very nicely done guys don't think it's 10 outstanding well class to me but it's close uh, I'm gonna give this a solid a uh, 95 for me on this one guys 
And like I told you, Beer Advocate didn't have it listed. They had this brewery listed, but they don't have this beer they didn't have yesterday be either. So maybe, maybe they're new releases from these from these guys there at Greenpoint. So, uh, but Untapped has it. So uh, a lot more people are commenting and posting on Untapped than they are Beer Advocate. Uh, and like I said, we quit using right beer a long time ago. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, like I said, uh, a solid A for me, 95. Over to Untapped, they have it at 4.16. Borderline between their A- minus and their A. I'm going to probably give it a little better grade than these guys are giving it an Untapped because it has the can on date and it has the ABV on the can and it's very tasty, guys. Uh, a lot of flavors and aromas that go with it. So I, I can't think of a reason why I should not give it that. So, and you might say, oh my God, that's the best thing I ever tasted. I uh, wouldn't argue with that. Or you might say, oh, that's, I couldn't stand it. It was the worst thing I ever tasted. That's where your palate is and what you like to drink. Your taste is very subjective, guys. Don't base your, uh, what you're going to buy or not buy, but what I say. Pick it up. Give it a try. That's the only way you're going to know. That is the only way you're going to know. Uh, if you have the opportunity, don't buy a whole six pack of it until you try one. Buy one of them and give it a try. If you like it, go back and buy more. That's you know that's the only way you're going to find out, guys. So uh, don't base it on what I say, because I may love what you may hate, and I may hate what you may love. So pick one of them up, and if you don't like it, don't buy it again. If you do, go back and get more. Yeah, that's 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 how it's done. So with that being said, guys, if you've had it, let me know. This is Greenpoint Beer and Ale Company, Brooklyn, New York. This is their Solid State double or imperial ipa very tasty guys till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge